What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at the Python Shotgun. This is the Gambit Ritual Weapon for this season, the Season of Dawn. So in this video today we're going to take a look at the hints and tips and the quickest way to get this weapon. Now if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, let's jump into the video. So as always guys, what is the Python? This is the Gambit Ritual Weapon and as you can see it comes with Extended Mag. It also comes with Overflow where picking up special and heavy ammo reloads weapon beyond its normal capacity. Alongside Feeding Frenzy as an option. It also comes with Shield Disorient where energy matched Shield Explosion disorientates nearby combatants. And finally 1-2 Punch where hitting an enemy with every pellet in the shot increases melee damage for a short duration. Now to get this gun you first need to visit the Drifter over in the tower. You'll find him over in the Annex and he'll have a new quest this season called Get Closer Spitting Distance. Now to complete this quest you need to complete 3 objectives so you need 500 shotgun final blows. You also need close range final blows and there's 150 of those and you also need to hit the infamy rank of heroic which is 2500 points. So with that in mind let's take a little look at the setup today. So I've got perfect paradox here you can use any special shotgun in the kinetic slot but just make sure you don't run two with special ammo because you will struggle for ammo if that's the case. So make sure you're running with primary ammo and special ammo and you should be fine. In the heavy slot here I've got Legend of Acrius. It comes with Shock Blast where the weapon fires a blast of high damage arc energy that over penetrates targets. A good alternative as well is Tractor Cannon. This is a bit of a trolley weapon but fun to use nevertheless and it comes with Repulsive Force and as you know that emits a powerful pulse that pushes enemies away as well as suppresses them. This is your invasion weapon so I'm going to take the Legend of Acrius as my preferred choice. Now alongside your weapons there are a couple of things you can do for your armor as well. So as you can see you can double stack shotgun reserves and this increases the amount of shotgun ammo that you can carry. So make sure you've got an arc chest piece and you have two of those mods equipped. You can also use special ammo scavenger which has been given to everyone this season which grants bonus reserves when you pick up special ammo. You can put that on any of your boots. And on your class item you can put special finisher this is the most important one and that helps generate special ammo for the whole fire team but you will use one third of your super but if you've got those mods and these weapons equipped then you're good to go for this particular quest so if we take a little look at the director obviously this needs to be done in gambit you can either use traditional gambit over here on the left or gambit prime over here in the middle now traditional Gambit allows you to have more rounds with ads, whereas Gambit Prime seems to allow you to invade more often. So depending on which you prefer, you can alternate between either of these. But once you've made your choice, hop on in and then we're good to go to start this quest. Now as with any pinnacle grind, it is possible to do this as a fire team if you wish. It will help because you do also get the win bonuses which will help with your infamy rank. But a thing to bear in mind as well is that when you are running solo, in a way you are also able to focus purely on ads, you're not all chasing the same objective. Now for the close quarters shotgun final blows, you literally need to get right up in the ad's face for them to count. So get really up close and personal and make sure you're using your shotgun as the primary weapon. Now if at any point you are struggling for special ammo, make sure to utilize your special ammo finisher to generate ammo for you and your fire team. But your scavenger perks and your ammo finder perks should be doing you a good service here. Now a thing to bear in mind is every ad counts as a single value against the total of your objective. Whether they're a red bar or a yellow bar, they will all count as one against your target. But as the quest itself states, guardians do grant further progress. So don't be scared to invade, but make sure you have some power ammo if you do so. So both the Legend of Acrius and the Tractor Cannon are great invade weapons and will help you combat supers should you face one. But bear in mind as well that the Guardians do grant more progress on this quest and they will equate to roughly 10 points against your total for each Guardian kill. So you can make some amazing progress towards your target just by invading and getting one or two kills against your target. It will most likely be the infamy that will be the final objective for you to complete this quest but once you've completed that you are free to visit the Drifter and it will have the Python waiting for you. So there we have it guys that's how you can get the Gambit Ritual Weapon for this season, the Season of Dawn. I hope you have found the hints and tips useful and you can get this weapon as quickly as possible. As always if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and you kill it as always so I super appreciate your support and if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well.
I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.